Right, another exciting video. This time we're going to be talking about the test modes to test the output functions of the Megasquirt. Um, we've got three functions we can test in MS2 and MS3, and that's the fuel pump. Uh, make sure the fuel pump switch is working, so you can test, set up your fuel pressure, things like that. Uh, we've got um, ignition tests. You can fire a coil, ignition coil, and we've got injector tests. Um, on MS3 we can r fire, if you're running sequentially and wired up sequentially and using the MS3X board, you can um, fire each, ind each individual injector. On MS2 you can fire uh, each batch, so you've got two outputs, so you can switch one or the other. Okay, on MS2 you've got to make sure the engine's stopped and the ignition's on, so no engine speed, ignition on. Uh, advanced and uh, output test mode. And it's a bit clunky in the way you use it. Right, once in output test mode, we're going to start on the top here where it says enter 1, 2, 3, 5. So we're going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we press the tab button on your laptop computer, then burn. Now we're in test mode. So, test mode, these functions will now work on, fuel pump on and off. You can see that the fuel pump is now running. You can, down here it says ready and off. And now it says not ready. That's the fuel pump activation. We've got on MS2 we've got coils and injectors. So we're going to test injectors. Output interval is the gap between each time we do a test. So the gap between if we put we're going to do ten pulses um, there'll be 10 pulses with a hundred millisecond, thousand, sorry, millisecond gap between them. So put 500 for half a second gap. That's a nice reasonable gap. We're going to test injector bank two. We're going to give it 15 millisecond pulses, but you could do we could do 10 for argument's sake, 10 millisecond pulses. Uh, injector pulse width parameters are the standard parameters which is what you've set up in basic setup and injector characteristics or you can change them and s test different pulse width uh, modulation, current limit, thresholds and all that sort of thing if you want to but for this test we need standard setup and then the number of injections so we're going to add 10 but as soon as I press the tab button we will start injecting fuel so clearly you do what we do doing this with um, injectors that are wired into, uh, plumbed into the system, the engine, with the fuel pump on, because you'll flood the engine. So um, you've got to be very careful how you test this. Uh, I would um, turn the fuel pump off up here, make sure the fuel pump's off, and um, just feel the injectors. You can feel them clicking if you want to just test that they're, they're working. So once I press tab, after entering 10 there, if I press tab, I'm now, the injectors are now pulsing. There you can see the injector pulsing. So, that's the test mode. In order to get out of test mode, press zero. And what I would also do is make sure you turn everything off. So the fuel pump off test mode off, burn, put zero in there, burn, but if you turn the power of the ignition off, on, if you turn it off and on again, the test mode will clear itself. So now if I close that, we're now out of test mode. So I would turn the ignition off and on again before um, attempting to do anything else to the car. And again, if you want to go back into test mode, you now got to enter one, two, three, four, five, tab, then burn. Then you're back into test mode again. And that's exactly the same if you wanted to test the coils. Select which coil you want to use, depending on which outputs and how you've got the mega squirt built and the dwell. So, uh, say for instance, on a Ford coil pack, you'd want 3.6 dwell. Select coil A and you'd spark coil A 
and uh, you should get if you use waste of spoil coil waste of spark coil you should uh, have two uh, spark plugs spark so that's test mode on MS2 MS3 is very similar but there's a little bit more you can do to it in that you can well, it's in advanced well, no, it's not it's in CAN bus and output test mode same thing again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tab and burn. Then um, you've got fuel pump on and off, coils and injectors, exactly the same as the other one, in output interval, so we've set that 500. Injector test mode is 1, so you can select one injector. So if you've got an MS3X and you're wired it all up so as each um, output is fed to one injector, you can select one injector, drop down, find out which injector you want to fire. So let's do 8D, sorry. I'm going to give it a pulse width of 20. And then total number of injections. Exact the same thing again, five for instance, and as soon as I press the tab button that will start injecting. And the same with coils, you can select sequ if you select let's just go back to in injectors for one second, let's just I didn't click you can go sequence and that'll run through all of them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whichever however many you've got set on the Mega Squirt, and that'll just run through them all. Uh, squirt and fuel out of all of them with 20 um, milliseconds of pulse width that'll fire them all five times and or all of them which does them all at, together so every single output and uh, again the amount of times you want to do it and uh, the pulse width it's very handy if you want to check that you've um, wired them all in correctly in the firing order so um, like on a roof V8 test them are all A would be cylinder 1 uh, so you could check that um, cylinder 1 fires when you don't injector A etc etc